Okay, Seabass, this is Moving Cameras Part 2. Now, you'll notice that right now I have camera 1 set as the active camera right here. And this is the guy that I'm working with right now. If I start recording uh, with this particular camera, uh, I can move the camera as the guy is moving or whatever. And basically, uh, the scene is recorded from the active camera. However, I cannot animate this camera because it does not have an animation set with it. Also, I can't control things like depth of field or uh, aperture or anything else like that with this particular camera. Uh, if it's the active camera and I bring in a player or a model, the model should appear right in front of this particular camera. problem with having so much custom content in the there we go so let's see what happens if I bring in oh yeah I've got an HWM Femscope oh wow so if I select the Femscope and I want to do a pan around her in order to pan around her let's take this off with this particular camera you'll notice how she's not in the center of field. However, if I select her, and I hold down the Alt key and I do this, I'm actually panning around her now instead of away from her like that. Okay, um, let's see. What can I tell you about this now? Okay, so what I'm doing now is I've selected the Fem Scout and she is the center of my camera. Therefore, I can pan around her by holding down the Alt key and left mouse button. If I want to get her into a pose, let's put her down on the ground where she belongs. There we go. And what I can do is I can move the camera in now and just by using various techniques that we talked about I can put her in the center of a shot and basically there she is. Now as I said once I have her in position and she's rooted and I've got this particular camera that I'm working with and it doesn't have an animation set that's pretty much everything that I can do with this particular camera. Now, remember I had another one up here that has an animation set. Okay, camera two. It's sitting way over here by the box car, and I want to bring it over to the Femscout. What I can do with this particular camera now is treat it the same as I would any other model. Okay, so let's grab the root transform. I'm going to lock the root transform of the scout to the camera. I select the camera, and by pulling on the default, I can bring the camera right over to her feet. And if I select that camera now and make it active by coming here and changing to camera two, I will find that I'm at her feet. Now with camera 2, not only do I have the ability to treat it like an object, it will actually take animations. So if I bring my timeline and say what I want to do with this particular camera over this 10 seconds, well, let's go with 5 seconds. Let's bring that to 5, bring this to 5, and then ramp it back. It must not be five, it must only be four. Get this back here.
There we go. Five seconds. So in this 10 second period, what we're going to do is we're going to ramp the camera up, have a look at the scout, and ramp it back down again. So I'm going to hold with the camera selected. I'm going to hold down the left mouse button, hold down the W key, walk it forward, turn it around, look at the Fem Scout, move in on her as a close up, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do with this. Okay, I'm going to commit that change, and now if I play that, okay, let's go back and play it from the start. So I'm going to start down at the base, I'm going to rotate up, turn it around, have a look at the fence goat, rotate it back down, and back down into the ground again. That's how you animate cameras. And if that's where you want to go with this, then now you have that tool. Also, with this particular camera, with an animation set, I have access to the field of view. I have access to the focal distance. I have access to the aperture, the tone map, or the, or the uh, tone map scale. Uh, the aperture, if I want to make it like really blurry, I can make the aperture slow or fast or whatever I want to do with it. And the other thing is, is bloom scale and all the uh, shading aspects, the ambient occlusion, shading, and that kind of thing. So now if I play this thing, it should look kind of weird. And again, back it goes. So, anyway, that's animating cameras and how you actually do it in a nutshell. Hopefully this helps. With that, Private Jack out.